Hello everyone. This is Nishant Mishra and today we're going to talk about how to generate a mock data and get REST API and point out of it. So if you may ask why do we need a REST API? So we use REST based art architecture to support high performing and reliable communication at scale. One can also say that you can easily implement and modify the APIs that we get out of a REST API and it brings us visibility and cross platform portability on any API system that we use. So you can say that getting a REST API is like really important for us. So what we have here today is a developer utility tool provided by Drone HQ, which is a REST API generator. So let's check it out. Also the link to it will be attached in a YouTube description so you can check it out there also. So yep, let's get started. We have the tool here. We'll click on let's try it. So here it comes. We have three options at shows uh, that the, you can upload a CSV, you can use raw JSON data, or you can auto generate it. So we'll first of all try the first option of uploading a CSV file. I'll browse it. I have the CSV file. I'll open it up and we'll click on next. So we have all the data that we had in the CSV file. So the next step goes there. We have two type of API, REST API, GraphQL API. We'll go with the REST API and we'll uh, leave the same name data. We'll generate the API and boom, we have our API here. So we can directly copy this link. And what we're going to do is we'll check it out. We'll put up a request in Postman and like get to know that do we have the data upcoming right or wrong. So we'll put up a get request and we have the data and it's not just not that we have multiple endpoints. So let's try a delete request. It says to use this URL to get a delete uh, request. I'll just put one. I'll click on delete. And so what should happen is the first uh, data should be deleted using a delete uh, request. The first data is electronic card transactions, right? I'll just send it and it shows that the state is 200. Okay. It means the data has been deleted. We can put up a get request again and I'll uh, put up this request and the data has been deleted and we have new data here. So it is working. Let's go back and try the J raw JSON data. For this, we need a JSON data. I have it already with me. We'll just copy it and I'll paste it here. So this is the data that we had and we'll just click on next. We have the data. I'll just name it data JSON. Generate API. The API has been generated. We'll once again copy the link. We'll go on postman and we'll check via putting up a request that is the API working. We'll click on send and yes, the API is working and it's fine. And similarly, like we checked in the CSV version, we have multiple endpoints. We can also try put, patch, delete, post. So all the CRUD operations are working on this API. So that's that. Now the third option that we have is to auto generate data. So what exactly it does? So we'll uh, have 10 number of rows. We'll click on next. So we have 10 rows of data that is automatically generated by the tool. So we have first name, phone number, email IDs, vehicle and job title. So the data vehicle does not matches with this whole data set. What we'll do is we'll change it. Uh, let's get a company name in the custom data and we'll select company. We'll click on done and we have the data here. So like this, you can change your data according to the custom data available in the tool. We'll click on next data JSON. I'll just put it back to data. Generate API. The API is generated. We'll copy the link. We'll go again to Postman. We'll put up a get request and the data is coming. We have Lois, Wilfredo, Messi, Miguel. So yeah, the data is up and coming. So Folks, that was uh, the working of our Drone HQ API generator. We had three options of uploading a CSV using a raw JSON uh, data and auto generating your own data. So that was all. Thank you very much.